Welcome to Excellence in Excel. My name is Nick Wong and in this video we will focus on how to create a drop down list in Excel. A drop down list is a very useful tool, especially if you want to control the input. So let's look at a drop down. First of all, you can see here we have our product list here and we have a list of products. And if we select this, you can see we can select every product that is recognized in this drop down list. This is very useful, especially if you want to control the input. For example, for honeydew, what happens if someone is not sure about honeydew as two words but assumes it's just one word and types like this? If you press enter, you can see that Excel gave an error message said this is not a valid input. So let's cancel this. And this is useful because with this you can start to control the input and analyze data more efficient. Especially if you put in a VLOOKUP here, we added a VLOOKUP and then we can get the values here instantly. And that's very nice. So what we want to do is we want to make one as well. And in this video you're going to make one right away. Let's start with that. First of all, we have here our table. This is an empty table with nothing at all. And if we go to our sheet number two, we have a list of products. In this case, we're selling furniture. And we can see here multiple types of furniture that we want to offer. These are the products we're selling. So how can we get this in here as a drop down? Well, very easy. So since we already have this list, all we need to do here is to select this here. And once you select this, you can click here on the data. This is very important. So if you're on the home, check on the data, and then you have here the option for data validation. So let's click on the data validation. Once you click on that, you get a new tab open. And in this tab, we have to select here on the list. So once we have this list, we can select here the source. So basically this means we need to select the list of products that we want to insert in a drop down. So what is that? Well, let's go to sheet number two. Select all of these and you can see now the the input is changing. It's uh, all right. So now it's now it shows you exactly what we selected. In this case, we selected these values and then we click OK. Once we did that, you will see now that our, we have now a drop down arrow here. We click on that and instantly we get the list of products. So this looks very useful and this is very useful to analyze data or to input products. Imagine not only products but maybe customer. If you have customer details such as company name and you want there, you have a link account details or you have this, the VLOOKUP here to link the prices of the products quantity, you can easily calculate everything you need. However, imagine you're expanding and now you, you, are, you offer some new things. For example, a coffee table. And this coffee table is a small table, it's a $10 product. So that's really wonderful. So if you click here on the drop down, let's see what happens. And I say, hey, wait a minute. My product is missing. Yes, that is true. The reason why it's missing is, let's go back here. Or let's go back to our data validation. So if we click on this, we have here the option for data validation. Let's select the data validation. And right now we have our list here. And it shows you right away the list that we have currently. And this list is only restricted to table lamp. Or to be more precise, it's restricted to the cell, cell number D7. So D number 7. So it doesn't expand. You might say, well, let's expand that. So we can expand that, and I will show you what happened if we expand it. So I'm going to remove all of this, and we're going to reselect all of these options here. And let's say, well, let's be smart. We expect to have a few new values. We got this. OK, click. Let's see what happens. You can see our coffee table showing up, but same here. And of course, because we didn't select the entire row, and that makes sense. That's why. The others are not updated, so we can update that as well. However, let me first focus on this. You can see we also have some empty values. 
And the reason why we have these empty values is because we selected all of these here. So it will count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 empty values in the drop down. And you will not see it because the video is cutting a part of it. But if I would reselect the entire data validation, oh, all right. So you can see here right now we have too many data validations. So that's not possible. So I can only select one here because they're two different types. So I'm going to remove this one here. Let me just clear this one. We can here just clear all. All right. Okay. So once I clear that, now the data validation is gone, but the other is not. So if I select them all, and let's clear all of those. Let's click here. Alert some cells are without. Okay, yes. Let me say clear all. Fine. Okay. So what happened now is that the data validation is gone. Let's do it one more time. Also for the sake of practice, that's probably useful. So we select all of these because we need to select all. And the reason why just only one was updated, I selected only a single cell. So we need to select the entire column and every cell in the column that we want to have a drop down then we click data validation we select the list we're going to select the source and what we did was we did the incorrect way here yes okay now we'll see everything is matched up but you see of course look there are one two three four five six empty values that matches exactly with we go here one, two, three, four, five, six. So of course, if you would say, well, I'm going to add up now new values, for example, here, a baby chair. And this is a couch. And we have also a kitchen. You will see that these will be now updated, but of course, we still maintain the blanks. And this is not that nice. So what you really want eventually, once you have the drop down list and once you start to figure out you're going to add up more and more items, you want a dynamic to be updated. Meaning that every time you add a new value, it should just update the value instantly. And imagine you were maybe, you'll be such a huge company and you have close to 100 products. You cannot select every single time the values and then put it in there, no. What you have here is this must all match up in a new table. Basically, this will be automatically updated once you have a new item. And that's what we're going to do in the next video. So if you like uh, things and tips and tricks about Excel like this, just check out the link below. In there, you can find a wonderful Excel course that goes deep in all kinds of tips and tricks for Excel. And... If you're very interested and you're saying, well, I would like to know more about a specific topic, please let me know what kind of topics you would like to see more. Then I will make more videos about that.